Good afternoon, good people. So I want to go over this um, concept from the transformation poster that we were talking about the other day and that we were working on. And so here on this file, we're trying to figure out how to get this image to find out where the pre-image is, right? So we want to find out what this pre-image is. So I'm going to take this coordinate point that's up here, and I want to rotate it. Now, this is a little bit different, a little bit funky, right? And so we know that when we rotate things in the 90 degrees clockwise direction, the variables change, right? So we end up with y, comma, x. So if we're rotating in a clockwise direction, we're changing it to y, comma, x. We understand that the Y value itself is negative. So 90 degrees clockwise direction, you're going to get a Y comma negative X. Why? Because the variables do change. However, the value that's in the Y location is negative. So that makes this X negative. Similarly, if we rotate 90 degrees in a clock, counterclockwise direction, you're still changing the variables. However, this time, the variable that's in the X location would be negative. So if we're trying to go from this direction to this direction to figure out what our coordinate points are for our pre-image, we have to go 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we're going to end up using this formula here. And so with that being said, our coordinate point will end up being at negative one comma two. So I'm going to clear up some confusion and misconceptions dealing with this problem. And so these problems and these numbers are all so these equations are all associated with the assumption that we're starting from the origin, right? So if I move my functions and we started from the origin, we would look like here, right? And so that's where these things are starting from. However, we're not starting from there. We're starting from 1 1 and so what we have to do, we have to transform this coordinate point to 1, 1. So what we do is we end up subtracting 1 from the x and 1 from the y. And we end up with 1, 2. What that means is we moved our figure to the origin, right? And so if we started at 2, 1 then that means we would subtract two in the x direction and subtract one in the y direction to get to this point, right? And so we know we moved one, one, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So now we moved our coordinate point to the origin. It should be at one comma two. Well, if you look at my point, one in the x direction, two in the y direction. So now we are at one comma Two. And so now we can apply this formula to it. So that means here we're at negative two comma one because my variable switched. My X became my Y. My Y became my X. And in this quadrant, X is negative. So we have to make this negative. So you see we're at two negative negative two one. Right. We're at the exact location we need to be. However, we're rotating the point about 1, 1 and not 0, 1. So in order for us to get back to that point of 1, 1, we have to now add 1 to these values. So I'm going to add 1 to both of these. That's going to give me negative 1, comma, 2. And that's where my point is. It's at negative 1, comma, 2. If you do that for all four points, you'll see how it rotates. And what you'll notice is you will end up with something that looks like this. So this will no longer be for your pre-image. And your pre-image should look like this because we rotated each point in that direction based upon negative y comma x. And we found each new point. So this is how you do this problem. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me with your questions.